it takes courage to stand up in the face of opposition, especially when you're standing up for life and especially when you're one of the youngest in the room. If you think abortion should be illegal, would you please stand up? We need to change the law to change the- Order, 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 order. If you think abortion should be illegal, would you please stand up? We need to change the law to change the world, so let's stand up and do it. Thank you. Order. Or everyone, y'all, please, please, S sir, er please. That was 13-year-old Addison Woosley in June of this year addressing her Raleigh, North Carolina City Council. Woosley was listing reasons why Raleigh should be a sanctuary city for the unborn and the importance of protecting life. When adults in the crowd began jeering and yelling and mocking her, the yelling only escalated when Woosley compared abortion to slavery. But Woosley continued to speak and complete her pro-life remarks. We sat down with the young pro-lifer to hear what it was like when that moment went viral and why she continued to speak up for life when the crowd wanted her silent. Addison Woosley, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. You spoke before your city council earlier this year. What was your message to them? Overall, it was asking the city council to make Raleigh a sanctuary city for the unborn, and specifically, it was about how science proves that a preborn baby is a person and that abortion is murder, and then I compared slavery and abortion. Wow. And during your speech, there were some adults in the room that were starting to mock and yell at you as you were speaking. What was going through your mind as that was happening? I was just a little confused because the month before I had gone to hear my friend speak and it was the complete opposite reaction. Everyone was just bored and seemed like they couldn't have cared less. So I never thought about them getting mad. So it's just like, what's going on? But I just tried to get as loud as I could. For critics who may have said, there's no way you wrote that speech on your own. Your parents must have put you up to that. There's just no way. What's the truth? What do you want to say to them? Um, well, I did research and write it. I've always liked reading books about history and writing's my favorite subject, so I think that kind of helped me. You're 13 years old. Do you think someone could ever be too young to speak up for life? Definitely not. I mean, the people we're speaking about are super young. They're not, they're not even one day old yet. So it's really important to have everyone, and it reminds me of the verse in 1 Timothy where it says, don't let anyone despise you for your youth. And so that's cool. And we live in a country where um, the First Amendment, like anyone of any age can speak up for their beliefs. So we should all proclaim the truth because anyone can do that. It's really beautiful. Is there anything you want to say uh, to those adults who were yelling at you and mocking you during your city council speech? I would want to tell them the good news of the gospel, that Jesus died for our sins where we should have died because we're big time sinners. And he rose again and whoever believes and follows him will have eternal life. And I want them to know in my paper, I was saying that I hate slavery and all that and I hate abortion. They're both very terrible. You listed in your speech a number of reasons why someone should be pro-life. Why, Addison, are you pro-life? Well, God creates life in his image, and life matters to him, so it should matter to us. And life, like the words our country are based off from our founding fathers, that everyone should have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, so should those babies, and life is precious, and it should matter, and we should protect their life. You're a devout Christian. How is your prayer life involved in your pro-life beliefs? Well, prayer is powerful, and... I just pray a lot for these babies. That's one thing everyone should do. We should be praying that the doctors, abortionists, would come to see that this is murder and it's wrong, for the moms to know there's other options, and just for other believers and pro-life people to step up and be courageous and tell the truth. I remember when I first learned about abortion when I was really little, I was just praying to God saying, this is terrible. If there's anything I can do to stop this, just show me how. I think he's doing that right now. And finally, Addison, if we have a young viewer who's watching and they're pro-life, but they're afraid to speak up for their views, maybe they're afraid they'll be mocked like you were. What do you want to say to them? 
I would just say try to take the focus off of you and put it on the babies that are being brutally butchered and viciously torn from limb to limb. They're the ones who would be afraid, and we need to be courageous and strong and stand up and speak the truth so that people can know that this should be legal and we need to stop this. Addison Woosley, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us. Thank you. How sweet is she, 13 years old, and she's my hero.